Jim, the minimum wage in Missouri is going up on January 1st, and uh, by 2023, it's going to be $12 an hour. That's a uh, more than 50% raise in, you know, in, a, in about four years. That's going to be pretty steep for some you know, retailers, janitorial services, others that employ, you know, employ minimum wage labor. Well, you know, lots of states have raised the minimum wage over the, yeah. over the past few years. There have been various studies on the effect. When you raise it 50 cents or so, it's kind of a typical increase. What, what, what you generally find is the effect on employment is either undetectable or very small. So I, I, I well, think the, it's the, the best the best research I've seen is is actually comes down somewhere in the middle there, and uh, it's you don't you don't see an immediate you know bunch of layoffs you don't see an immediate plunge in employment, but you do see a reduced growth rate in the number of uh, low low paid employees over time uh, in, in, in those those categories those industries that would have would have been employing low wage labor. You know, I, I don't doubt that that's true. But still, we're talking about thousands, tens and tens of thousands of people getting raises because of this. And, and of course, when you raise the bottom, you know, the people who are right. one level up right. also go up a little bit too. So, so I, I don't doubt that there'll be some loss of employment, but, but I think the benefit to the people who get those raises will just... Well, so you have to decide who's, you know, whose uh, welfare do you value more? Those, those people or the young people who are, you know, maybe from a, you know, in a disadvantaged area where it's hard to find jobs anyway, and uh, it will be harder to, for them to find that first step on the ladder to move up. I, I tend to think of the people who are in these jobs now working at McDonald's who are 25, 30, maybe have a kid that they're trying to support, and you just can't do it on, on 7.85 an hour. You really can't do it on 12, but it gets you closer well, to the place uh, where well, you Well, I won't deny that yeah. there, are, you know, there are people in, you know, who fit that description? But the majority of, of minimum wage workers are, you know, are not that uh, you know, supporting a family. The, the majority of them are usually part-time. You know, young young people working, you know, working a part-time job, a summer job, um, just trying, you know, trying trying to supplement their you know, pay for their schooling, what you know, whatever to have some spending money. Well, your your friends at the Show Me Institute were estimating yeah. eleven thousand job losses. Uh, throughout the state, and you know, I, I think yeah. that's high, but still, we're talking about 11,000 out of 1.3 million in the St. Right. Louis right. metropolitan right. area, three times that as a state as a whole. We're talking about even with their figure, a, a minor amount of job loss. But you do, but you do have to look at you know the the impact on different groups, and uh, teenage unemployment is still much higher than than uh, you know than uh, than the overall unemployment rate. African American unemployment in in St. Louis area is two to three times the, uh, the the overall rate. So if you're going to make it, you know, harder for people who are disadvantaged anyway, to you know, uh, you know ha haven't had you know, haven't had the you know, much schooling or or job training, yeah. uh, few you know, few skills to uh, you know to to bank on, they're 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 going to have trouble finding that first job, and that that's you know. That's the that's the downside. Well, they, they might have a little bit more prob trouble, but overall, just a little bit more. The the effect on overall employment, I think, will be minor to absent. Well, but yeah, the other thing to uh, keep in mind is that uh, you know, the, all these studies that have been done, which you cited, are based on usually fairly minor increases. The you know uh, states going to twelve dollars or fifteen dollars an hour is pretty new. Uh, we you know, we really don't know the you know how, how much that big of an increase what effect it will have. We're running an experiment. Exactly. <laughs>